After 13 years, Hailey Aaron is back in the young and the restless, and we couldn't be happier. With her brand new role, she is bringing a whole new personality to the table. Since it's been more than a decade since we last saw her, let's look back at her life and see what has changed since she left YNR in 2010. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. From October 2nd, Hailey Aaron made her epic comeback in The Young and the Restless as Claire Grace, after leaving the show back in 2010. Never in a million years would anyone have thought she would make a return in YNR, especially since she played the role of Abby Newman in the past, which is now being played by Melissa Ordway. As much as everyone was shocked, they were even more excited to see her back on the show. But as it turns out, we aren't the only ones excited. In an interview with Soap Opera Digest, she said that she was excited to use the 15 years of experience that she has gained to create a really dynamic and interesting character. Back when she was in YNR, she was very young, 14 years old to be exact. So it was challenging and intimidating for her. She said, I wasn't prepared for the emotional nature of the material. But now she is all grown up and even pro at it. The character of Claire Grace that she is playing currently is a total opposite of her personality. She said, what I love about Claire is that she is a fantastic businesswoman, which is something so different than what I've gotten to play before. She's smart and driven, and a lot more put together than I am. Like even when her dad saw a picture of her as Claire, he said it really didn't look like her. While she is all excited to work again on the set of Y and R with her close friends and have the time of her life, let's also look at what has changed in the past 13 years. Erin married Adam Fergus, who is an Irish actor, back in 2020. While they were just supposed to be in Ireland for eight months to get to know his family, everything changed when she got pregnant and fell in love with the place and decided to settle there in South Dublin. She gave birth to twin daughters, Maud on August 9th and Juno on August 10th of 2021, and wrote, they're individuals already. In fact, she was in Ireland when she got the offer of returning to Y&R. She won a Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Younger Actress in a drama series in 2019 for her role as Kiki Jerome on General Hospital. Starting her career in acting at just the age of 10 after guest starring in an episode of Malcolm in the Middle, she has come a long way. After parting ways from Y&R and General Hospital, she went on to play in a freeform series as Taylor Hotchkiss in Pretty Little Liars, The Perfectionist, in 2019. After that, she made her feature film debut opposite Sonia Walbert in the 2023 horror film New Life. Erin still has a strong bond with her General Hospital co-star, Chloe Lanier, who plays the character of Nellie Benson. By strong bond we mean, they are practically twins, the ultimate best friends. Lastly, did you know her full name is Haley Aaron File? Oh, and she recently has a new favorite hobby and that's yoga. She is also an active supporter of the WGA Movement 2023 and reposted a well-written post of her dear friend, Chloe Lehner, which said, no one in this industry would have a job without writers, and yet, more often than not, writers are treated as if they're at the bottom of the barrel, both creatively and financially speaking. She reiterated, this is untenable and we must fight for change. I stand strongly in solidarity with the WGA. That's all about Haley Aaron. Make sure to show your love and support in the comments below as she embarks on this brand new journey on Y&R. And as always, keep tuning in with us for the latest updates on your favorite soaps and actors. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.